It's finally been confirmed The Marvels is officially worse than The Flash, the biggest box office bomb in the history of Marvel and it's continuing into the second weekend getting its biggest drop percentage wise on its second weekend and people are just startled to see this happen to The Marvels. Of course this is a previously the first movie Captain Marvel earned over $1 billion. Now we have such a staggering drop from those heights of Captain Marvel to extreme lows here where we're seeing some, a movie that may not even gross over $200 million in its global box office for a film that in its previous installment made over a billion dollars. And of course, this is leading to many people to realize Captain Marvel and its success was solely based on its positioning between the two biggest comic book movies of history in Infinity War and Endgame. So that strategic positioning really catapulted it to these great heights for its first installment. And the second installment is showing the weakness of the character themselves they can't hide it anymore they can't hide it behind everyone is racist and evil for disliking their property they can't use those political jabs anymore because even if you look at the demographics of the film itself mostly men saw it so you can't say men are not supporting this film it's mostly women that are not supporting this film and i think that is the crucial thing here that we're seeing is just no one really wants to see this film that the people that do see it are enjoying it to a certain extent i think the top critics are not enjoying it at all they think it's terrible but i think the general audience of uh, male fans that marvel enjoy the movie to a certain extent they don't think it's great but it's a, a average movie to them and even to me i think it was a bad movie but i don't think it's the worst movie ever made so i uh, that even i have almost uh, just a, a slightly neutral to bad outlook on the film itself so i think it's just not only uh, the film standards that uh, are holding it back i think it's just disney and hollywood it's just not not the time to release mediocre to bad superhero movies people are tired of seeing bad superhero movies and this is one of them so it's obviously going to fail we already saw that earlier this summer with the flash with blue beetle and with a whole host of other properties that have come out this is just a kind of the stamp right here that the superhero genre is in decline it is failing and this is uh the i guess the prominent example of that where we cannot deny it people just don't want to see this stuff anymore and i think this is the case here with this film i think we're going to continue to see a dramatic declines but if we look at the recent box office we have some other films that are just uh, completely destroying it we have trolls we have uh, hunger games ballad of songbirds and snakes which is making 46 million dollar opening it's doing i think a, a suitable amount uh, for its opening is only a hundred million dollar budget so earning half of that budget back probably 50 million dollars in uh, marketing costs so you have 150 million dollars uh, to make your money back uh, 200 million dollars if you include uh, just uh, the theaters cut and uh, the individual cuts for the different theaters for distribution then i think you have 200 million dollars to clear globally to make your money back which is possible because of the global numbers are going to be pretty high for this so i think it easily can soar past 250 to 300 million dollars so rachel ziegler may have saved herself but the marvels are not in a lucky position where they can do that let's read this article i'll give you my thoughts on marvels being the worst mcu movie to date and may be the death knell for superhero movies in general because we just saw a string of superhero failures and this being the biggest one of them and it is amazing to see this actually happen now where we're finally seeing the marvel cinematic universe falter in a way where it may not be able to get back easily let's read this article and i'll give you my thoughts after the marvels posted a franchise low for the marvel cinematic universe of 46.1 million down from 47 million dollars that they predicted on the sunday of its uh first box office opening weekend isn't songbirds and snakes also a misfire people are asking uh, about that not necessarily and at 100 million dollar plus production costs 65 percent of it is funded by foreign sales with another 20 million in german tax credit the Lionsgate Francis Lawrence directed movie is structured completely differently financially than the $200 million Marvels. Right now, it's around $300 million if you include the, the updated budget. So it's a different financial structure for this movie. And seeing the $100 million budget and some of the, the $20 million tax credits, this movie may have cost only $60 million to make, $60, $70 million, the Hunger Games movie. So they're in a, a good position to make a profit from this immediately. And, within 
three weeks, three or four weeks. So uh, this movie is probably going to be a financial success. I think the, the box office opening is pretty good for it then, if that is the case. But uh, let's see what people have to say about just the overall failure of the Marvels, which is collapsed in and on itself. And it is leaving a, a gaping hole where people are looking at just Disney and Marvel and their structure of these brands and how they're developing them in such a way where people are just not interested in any in it anymore and i think that is the case here we have other movies coming out like trolls that are just uh overshadowing it They're just going leaps and bounds beyond it i think it trashed it with the, almost a 30 million dollar opening weekend which is good for this type of product they don't spend that much money on their budget and this is like a long game they plan for trolls to be in the theaters for months now into the christmas season so it's going to be making money for a long time so that is another success let's go into the third place uh finisher for the box office weekend and that is the marvels with a second friday of uh, around 2.8 million and they're thinking it's second weekend it's barely going gonna make 9.7 million dollars so 10 million this is almost 80 percent drop 79 percent drop from its, its first weekend so this is the biggest weekend drop ever for a mcu title and it's just stunning to see that it brings its total around 64.5 million and i don't know how they can really recover from this because this is a dramatic place to, to fall from for disney after spending so much time in the crafting this movie spending so much money in trying to include it in the universe this is something that's connected to multiple properties on their disney plus platform so this reflects badly on disney plus itself where they have multiple properties that have WandaVision, Secret Invasion, Miss Marvel. These three TV shows are attached. They're supposed to be drawing uh, consumers, drawing an audience, and they're not drawing an audience. They're losing audience in comparison. And, of course, you have the billion-dollar Captain Marvel movie. You have four properties combining together, producing an abysmal result. This just reflects on how poorly everything is managed at disney not just the movies not just uh, disney plus not just the the production of every single one of these films and tv shows it just reflects that they don't know how to bring everything together to make a profitable product because individually this means that those products are unprofitable as well this is all the disney plus shows if you can't draw in more people then that means it's probably not drawing in subscribers. WandaVision, Miss Marvel, Secret Invasion. It just means those properties are not bringing in people. And Captain Marvel itself is probably the, the biggest thing that is drawing in audience in this movie. And I think that is a failure in and of itself. And I think it reflects poorly on Disney for all the faith they put into this movie for it to fail this big this early this decisively it just kind of ends any talk of this movie being some game changer something to blame the fans for accusing them of being racist homophobic and all these other words to save the face of the producer i think that is a, a gross misplacement of this of the failure of this product and i think this reflects poorly on just the entire production company as a whole but you tell me what do you think about the situation do you think disney will recover from this i highly doubt it uh, the third weekend is destined to be even worse than the second so i expect to see this around three four million dollars in, in its third weekend i don't see how it can recover from it but you tell me what do you think is going to happen leave a comment like share and subscribe this is wagner knows why catch you next time